Hey guys, Tech from Drew with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to activate and set up your iPhone 15 with an eSIM card. So let's get started. So if you're new to iPhone in this process, we're going to walk you through the whole process of setting up a new iPhone 15 from starting to finish. So let's get started. So here I have the new iPhone 15 here out of the box. It's going to look something like this where you're going to have a charger cable. And then in your iPhone, if your phone is only eSIM compatible, it will tell you in this pamphlet something like this. Now, if you have a physical SIM card that's going to be located on the side, you can also do that. But this one is specifically for eSIM card because this is a US model which no longer has a physical SIM card. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. So let's get started. So part of the setting up process, first thing is we're going to need to turn the phone on. So how do you turn the phone on? Really simple and easy here. You're going to press and hold this big side button here until you see an Apple logo up here and I press on all and you can see I see Apple logo and then I let go of that button and now the phone is powering on in a case the phone doesn't power on the, using the charge cable the USB-C cable and a wall adapter with the USB-C go ahead and uh, charge it and the phone should turn on and once you turn it on it should present you with a menu like this and you're just gonna swipe up here once you swipe up the next thing you're going to want to do is select your language. For me, it's English, your country or region that you're in. So I'm going to select that for me. And the first thing is appearance. So on your iPhone, you can actually make the text icon uh, default, medium, or large if you did like to get larger text. So up to you. I'm just going to hit continue as is. Now, quick start. You can, if you have your existing iPhone next to you, you can actually bring your data and everything over by doing that. Or if you're setting up new, and just say uh, just that part and then it's important the next step is going to require you to connect to either Wi-Fi or you sell your data in our case I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi here really quick so I'm entering my Wi-Fi password so you will need to select your Wi-Fi password or you sell your data and then hit the join option and once you join to either Wi-Fi or sell your data for your internet connection it will act activate your iPhone which is going to be taking you through the next step of setting up the phone here and it says takes a few minutes but either uh, soft like that now present it with your menu if there is a software update it's going to try to update the phone you can always come back and do it later up to you the next thing we get is data and privacy now data and privacy is just Apple's information you can read through it or learn more about it. I'm just gonna hit continue here and setting up your iPhone. So iPhone lets you to choose if you're setting up for a child that's younger than 12 or yourself. So I'm just going to do it for myself. Our next menu that we're presented here, as you can see, is Face ID, which allows you to verify your phones in order to unlock it, use Apple Pay, subscribe to services, and much more if you would like to use the face ID feature now you don't have to up to you here if you do select it it's gonna ask you to do some face scan which you can do I'm just gonna skip it here because you can always come back to the setting later and set it up the next menu you're prompted is for a passcode so you can enter a passcode or you can choose not to I'm just gonna enter a simple passcode here because this is just a demo and then of course make sure yours is much more complicated than mine I am just doing a demo here and once you enter a passcode, it's going to ask you if you would like to transfer your apps and data if you have an existing device, either iPhone or even an Android device. You can follow either of the prompt based on whatever option fits for you. Or if you simply want a clean slate, you can choose not to transfer anything. Now, the next menu, which is really important, is Apple ID. So in order to use any Apple services like the cloud, downloading apps from the App Store, uh, iMessage, FaceTime, you will need Apple ID, which again, you can use existing Apple ID if you have other Apple devices, which is recommended, or you can create one for free because it's a requirement. So either go ahead and sign into your existing one or create one by clicking on this and then create a free Apple ID. Or if you forgot your password, you can always reset it. Because this takes a little bit of time, I'm simply going to set up later in the settings so I can show you the other processes that you need to do. But make sure you, of course, create app ID or sign into one. After you do that, it's going to give you terms and conditions. I'm going to hit agree here. 
Again, if you like to automatically update your phone, it's asking if you like to do that. We'll just do it as is. Now, FaceTime and iMessage are important. Apple services, if you like to use those services, simply just hit continue. Location services, again, if you're going to be using services like Maps and other apps that require location services, you need to enable that. So just enable your location services. And then after that is the cellular setup part, which is the most important part now. A couple ways to set up your cellular. If you have an existing phone near you with the service, you can actually click transfer from a near iPhone. If you hold it next to it, it can actually transfer that over to you as long as it's running iOS 16 with Bluetooth on and the other phone is unlocked. So if you have a home screen, you can pretty much go ahead and bring it close to it and it will process the setup for you where you can move your phone service over. Now in a case that you don't have your other phone or you're setting it up for the very first time, you can use a QR code that your carrier can provide for the eSIM. Usually it will look something like this with a barcode. You can use that and then you can just scan it right like that and it will read that detail that will allow you to set up the eSIM, which is basically a bunch of uh, information, or you can manually set up the details as well, which your carrier can provide if you're not able to get the QR code from your carrier or company. You can ask them for this detail that they can provide for your account. And other thing is, sometimes if you bought a phone from your carrier, it already has the eSIM configured, so you do not need to do any of this itself it can leave it as is and you'll be good to go so again a couple ways either bring your iphone existing iphone close to it if you're moving the service over or use the qr code or enter the detail and you'll be able to set up your eSIM by following the process here so if you do have a qr code again it'll be simple as just scanning that like i said just like that and once you do that again it will be added here. This eSIM, of course, is just a sample that's not valid. That's why I'm getting this message, but you get the idea here to be able to set it up. Now, once you have done that, the next thing is Siri, of course, the voice assistant. If you like to set it up, you can continue and say a couple commands so it can recognize your voice. I'm simply going to skip this part. Uh, screen time, if you like a weekly report of how much screen time this phone is being utilized, you can do that hitting continue or coming or you can always set it up later up to you and iPhone analytics if you like to share the Apple with data from your iPhone about the usage usually I don't share it but it's up to you finally Apple allows you to choose the display type whether you want light dark or auto whatever you like auto will be it will go dark during after sunset and then light or on sunrise so I'll hit continue as is and emergency SOS basically telling you that if you're in a crash detection uh, your phone can notify emergency services emergency SOS and in some countries you can actually use uh, SOS emergency via satellite if your cellular service is not working so I'll just hit continue and finally once you get to welcome to iPhone you swipe up and your iPhone is all set up ready to go like I said if you need to set up cellular service, you can always come back to the setting here and click on cellular, add it, and that same exact prompt will come up so you can add cellular if it didn't get added during the setup process. And that's it for setting up your iPhone 15. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.